Well, hello again, it's Trudy here from Hot Patterns, coming to you with another gorgeous little show and tell for our latest pattern. This is all about the Chimera cardigan jacket vest. It's going to be a really, really useful piece for you. You're going to love the pattern because it's so easy. And so, let's have a proper look and go through all the details. So, the Chimera cardigan jacket vest. Um, we called it Chimera because a Chimera is like a mythical creature made of three different things. It's a stretch, I know, but work with me here. Um, and what we wanted to do with this one, well, let me tell you the backstory. Okay, very short backstory. Um, on our Facebook sewing group, there was a little chit chat a while ago, um, and it just came out of nowhere as to what things people wanted, what patterns they wanted, you know, what styles would be really useful. Um, and a big list of them came out, and I kept wanting to say on the Facebook group, it's okay, because we've got those on the list, because we do. We have a big list of things we want to do, and most of them are things that people have asked for. Um, and this one actually happened to be, it was in the mix at that time. I wanted to say, oh, it's going to be out soon, but I didn't. I just said, I have plans. I was very enigmatic about the whole thing. So, first part of the plan is here, it's come to fruition. Um, what we really wanted with this one was to have a really nice kind of jacket style, but it was going to be a cardigan. You could just kind of sling it on. It didn't have to be tailored. You could, you know, stuff it in your bag when you're travelling. You could keep it at work in case you get chilled in the office. Just a really, really useful piece. And as we went through the options for it, we realised as well that, you know what, a sleeveless version would make a really beautiful vest. Why the heck not? So, we have lots of different variations for you on this. We have... Uh, the longer length, this is the longer length, we have the shorter length, we have a three-quarter sleeve, my particular favourite, obviously we have a classic uh, full-length sleeve, like a two-piece jacket sleeve, and we have the sleeveless version, so lots of options there, and we have your uh, faux pocket flaps here, or we have patch pockets, and of course you've got the optional belt. Quite frankly, there are so many options on this. I reckon if you discount the, um, the belt option, you've actually got six different variations you can do with this pattern. So I really think when it comes to bang for your sewing butt, we've got it sewn up this one. Oh, that was such a bad pun, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, totally unintentional, I promise you. So, um, yeah, it's a very, very simple piece to make. Very simple, even though it is quite jackety. Uh, we've got panel seams down here. Um, we've got our short little uh, darts. Did you know that those short little darts, you know, kind of half size darts that we do a lot, they're apparently known as Dior darts, as in Christian Dior. So I'm like, I'm all over that, so they're Dior darts now. Um, so yes, we've got panel seams of Dior darts. Um, the front is edge to edge, it doesn't over wrap, so you can, if you wish, you can put a little hook and eye in there if you want, or just leave it, kind of let it hang, the whole point of this is that it's kind of dressy casual, you know, it's not too formal, not too stiff. So yes, no buttons needed, really just your fabric, a little bit of interfacing. On the jacket and cardigan version, or the longer and shorter versions, I've actually put a little shoulder pad in this one, just because I thought it was nice, it's nice on me. Use a shoulder pad or not, as you please, it's really down to you. But I think it gives it a slightly more jackety kind of look, also on my well, sloppy shoulders, I kind of need it. So yes, a super, super useful piece, and um, I think once you've made it, you'll be making a lot more. Let me quickly go through with you things like fabrics, because they are, as always, kind of crucial to the success of this one. Now, we've designed this to be done really in heavier knits. And the patent envelope tells you the stable knits, by which I mean you don't want a sweater knit that's all kind of see-through and holy. You want something that's quite stable, got a bit of oomph to it. This is a ponty knit, and ponty is perfect for this. So ponty knit, sweatshirting. You can even do it in fleece. I know, something nice in fleece. Why not? Um, yeah, so it's designed for knits. Now you'll see with the uh, vest here, the vest version, I've actually made this up in denim. I've made the front and the side panels in denim. And I've made the back, well I'm just going to show you the back, um, I've made the back in, I know, in a leather print, in the same ponty as this one. So we've got literally business in the front, party in the back. Um, I made it uh, in ponty at the back because you need that kind of movement. You know, if you were going to make um, the jacket version, one with sleeves, you can certainly get away with doing your centre front panel and your uh, facing if you want to in a non-knit fabric, in a woven that doesn't stretch you'll get away with it. Don't do the side panels, the back panels though, because you're really gonna suffer, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. But in something like this, you haven't got the sleeve restriction, you can certainly get away with just doing the center back panel in a knit. Um, 
Jewelry is out on a stretch woven. It's kind of out. I think that's one of those things, you know, caveat emptor, buyer beware. Uh, you really need to think this one through if you're going to use a stretch woven. I think you'll get away with it. I know when we tried it, it was okay, but it wasn't fabulous. So just bear that in mind. Maybe a stretch woven front and side, and maybe a, a niche at the back. I don't know. Your choice. So anyway, yes, fabric choice is crucial. Got to use a stable knit. I've interfaced this with um, Trico interfacing from Fashion Sewing Supply, as always. Uh, I haven't interfaced the denim one because I don't interface denim. Never ever do. Um, and it's absolutely fine. But yes, very simple to make. No real notions, just a bit of thread, a bit of interfacing, and your own time and talent. So, now I've gone through the details with you. I'm going to, I'm going to model them. Oh, heaven help us all. Uh, just because I want you to see how they look like on a body. So here I am actually wearing a belt, which I never do, but I thought it'd be useful for you to see how this looks when it's belted. And you can see it's kind of a really nice, simple, soft, kind of jackety look, cardigan. That was what we wanted, that's what we planned for, and it's worked out perfectly. Um, this is the kind of thing, it's absolutely perfect if you're going on a long journey. Train, plane, automobile. This is the kind of thing you want. Really comfy, but gives you a nice bit of coverage. And you know, you get to your destination, you're not going to look all scruffy and horrible. So this belted is perfect. Of course, it works as well. Just sitting there merrily, edge to edge, when you remove the belt. It's a really nice, kind of easy piece to wear. Now, I didn't do you uh, the long sleeve version to show you. Um, obviously, we've done tests, we've done muscles only because I knew I couldn't model it because it's 102 degrees outside today and I'm wearing two layers on top. Ah, but let me tell you, when it comes to cooler weather, when it's not cold enough for like a proper top layer, it's not cold enough for a jacket or a coat, this is the kind of thing that's perfect, just kind of keeps the chill off. And also, even when it's still warm summer, you know, if you go out for a summer evening, it can get cold later on quite a bit. So this kind of thing, just swing it on your shoulders, good to go, you're fantastic. And here, for your delectation and delight, is the dark denim version. This is actually quite, it kind of feels quite tailored because the denim's quite stiff, which is, which for me is really lovely. It might, it might not be something that you like, but really, your mileage will vary. You choose what you'd like to do. Don't forget you've got the back. Oh yes, looking fabulous. Always like a little bit of leopard print, you can't go wrong. So yes, uh, vest version. As you can see, we've just left the sleeves off. Now, this is something to bear in mind. A lot of the time, uh, people will get maybe a blouse pattern or a top or a dress and they think, oh, I want a sleeveless version. And they just leave the sleeves off. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, with uh, what I would call a, a garment that's close to your body, you need to fill the armhole in before you can go sleeveless. But when it comes to a jacket, no. To do a vest, perfect. Just leave the sleeves off. We've uh, bound the edges here, which looks really nice. It's really crisp and clean looking. And that's it. Faux pocket flaps, lovely. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to top stitch the facings or invisible sew. I think invisible hem, I think, which means an hour of uh, stitching in front of the TV tonight. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of taken them up for now. But yes, that's our best version. Very useful and really nice. You just kind of finish off a very simple outfit. So there you have it. That's our rather lovely Chimera cardigan jacket vest. It is a cardigan kind of is a jacket and it's certainly a vest. So, all those options. Oh, and I thought I'd just put these back on the stand for you and show you. You can also wear the collar up like this that so just sits up. It's a very slim, very narrow shawl collar. So you've got that option as well. So lots of different ways to wear it. I think it's very, uh, it's very kind of Isabel Morant, you know, very kind of French girl, kind of groovy, uh, and really, really lovely. Um, don't forget, make sure you use the set of proper fabrics, look on the front of the envelope, it will tell you what you need to do. And uh, yeah, easy to make, easy to fit, beautiful to wear, you're going to love it.